hey loves welcome back so i am coming at you with another video so today's video is going to be a diy clear lip gloss that um is infused with peppermint oil um if you guys do not know peppermint oil uh, does a lot for your lips um it definitely helps with like cracked lips it gives like your lips like a, a refreshing soothing and cooling sensation and then it also helps uh soft soften and uh plump up your lips so i have a few peppermint lip glosses on my site so the one that i will be showing you guys today is uh, my clear peppermint lip gloss that um with butterflies so if you guys are interested to see how i uh make this then definitely keep watching this video okay so i've already got my versagel which is here i got my oils and then the peppermint oil that i will be using is this okay and like i said this is a peppermint essential oil it's completely different from a flavoring or a scent oil um so yeah so i have that and then here are my butterflies that i will be using all right so we're gonna go ahead and get started so i'm gonna go ahead and scoop out a little bit of my versa gel and you guys versa gel is very very thick uh, it's hard to deal uh, deal with uh, without adding your oils but once you add your oils then it's like really really simple to work with okay so we're going to start with about this much of Versagel. And then I'm going to go ahead and start adding in my oils. Now because this is a clear, or I want it to be a clear lip gloss, I'm not going to use uh, a lot of the castor oil, okay? Because the castor oil, it gives... Your lip gloss a little bit of a cloudy look and when you use coconut oil coconut oils gives you more of that clear look okay so that's what I will be using and then I'll probably add in a couple of drops of vitamin E oil so you want to start mixing like I always tell you guys this is like the most time-consuming part is making sure your oils and your Versagel is mixed or blended well together so that's going to take like a little bit of time and then with the blending and mixing you need to continuously keep adding your oils just to get the consistency that you want okay i definitely do not like my lip gloss too runny and i definitely do not like it too thick but I, I've been making lip gloss for quite some time and I've making, been making like bulks of lip gloss so I kind of know exactly what my consistency is. So like I said, I do add a couple of drops of vitamin E oil, which I'm doing right now. And then of course, I will be adding in my preservative. Uh, if you guys do not know, I highly recommend that you add preservative to your lip gloss because you want to make sure like your clients, when they receive the lip gloss from you, that they're able to have a long period of time with with wearing the lip gloss you don't want them to buy your lip gloss and then they're only able to use it for a couple of months so with the preservative it extends the lifespan of or the shelf life of the lip gloss okay so i'm going to go ahead and mix that all in together and then i'll come back so i pretty much mixed enough for right now um 
I might have to add in oils a little bit later, but this is basically what I have or what I'm working with right now. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add my peppermint essential oil. You definitely do not want to add too much because it can irritate the lips. So you only need like a few drops. And that's it. Okay. And then you want to mix that in very well. So the last thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and add my butterflies. Now these butterflies is a holographic butterflies. Um, when it comes to butterflies or chunky glitter, you can add as much or as little as you want. So like I said, I'm using two colors. This is like a holographic blue color. Okay, so I'm going to add um, somewhat of a generous amount. Because I want to make sure that when I do put them in my tubes, that um, my, my clients are able to see the uh, butterflies. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the pink. And then I'm going to go ahead and mix that in. Mix that uh, all together. Okay. So this is how much I'm using. I am done mixing in the butterflies, which it looks kind of like this. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead. So I've already got my syringe and my pipette, which is here. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep my syringe and then go ahead and fill in the gloss into the syringe and then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I fill up my tubes. I already got my tubes. Uh, these are the squeeze tubes that I'm going to be using. These are 10 ml tubes. They look like this and then I will be filling up my gold wand tubes that looks like this. Okay so we're going to see how much or how many tubes I'm able to fill up with the amount of gloss that I made. So this is how, oh, let me see if I can let it focus. All right, there it goes. So this is how the gloss is looking in the syringe. And so we're going to go ahead and start filling up our tubes. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. One time now for the gal, I'm up in the place. Yeah, they see us come through, get a squad, some space. Get down, get down, girl, can't nobody take nothing. Yeah. And if they try to tell you something, tell them fast some stairs or run up. Cause I ain't tryna be nobody, body, body. I ain't tryna tell you how to live in life. So that is about it for this lip gloss DIY. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, really quick before I go, I did want to show you guys the other peppermint glosses that I do have. So these are all still available. Um, I have just have about five left. Um, these are my uh, pink and blue ombre wand tubes. And these are peppermint glosses. These are just really clear peppermint gloss no butterflies in them and then the ones that i just showed you guys today and then also i have like um my holographic butterfly glosses that look like this 
and I have about five left of these okay so these are how these look these are so pretty I love all of my um butterfly glosses um but yeah you guys so if you are interested you can definitely check out my site and that's about it so i want to say thank you so much for watching uh if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel definitely subscribe i will be coming with uh, coming at you with more videos also make sure you guys follow me on instagram um i post a lot of lot more of my lip gloss as well as my apparel line um, if you like this uh, video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below in the description section. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Close mouth, don't get bad over here. Don't get bad over here. But you have to do what you have to know. Yeah. No, no, close mouth, don't get bad. I hold out, I stay there.